Hey guys, how you going? Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to make a sliding indicator. So basically it's one thing that I've um, sort of jimmied up recently. I've copied a few things off other people and um, you did a bit of research on knots that I need. And I found a pretty fairly basic way of making an indicator that A floats, B is really sensitive and C is adjustable so you can actually change the depth that you're fishing at. Um, there are other indicators out there like this already, such as the New Zealand Strike Indicator. Um, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, it can be a bit fiddly. Um, you, you know, you got to pack it right. You got to get the uh, uh, too much wool, and you have issues. Too little wool, you have issues. Um, this here is a fairly set and forget, and it will last you quite a while. So the things you're going to need for this is some backing. I've just got some bright orange backing here. Um, you're also going to need some fairly strong, well you want to use fairly strong um, mono or fluoro. Um, this here is 20 pound. Um, basically what you end up is you end up with a large section, probably a few feet at the front of your, um, with a tip ring on at the start of your leader. And basically that's where the indicator will be sliding along and you want anything after that to break. So say you've got eight pound tippet on, you want that breaking before uh, anything else. And then you want some glow bug yarn. Um, this glow bug yarn, glow bug yarn I've actually treated before this. Um, I've soaked it in Sally's water shield, squeezed it off, then dried it. The first step in this process is you want to cut a piece of your mono to about, we'll say, how long is that? About a metre I reckon. Just over a metre. So cut about a metre of that, and now that we've got that cut, grab your backing, and what you want to do here is a barrel knot. So this video is not entirely about how to do knots. Um, a barrel knot, you should be able to find it somewhere online, hopefully you'll be able to see on this video what I'm actually doing. I'll give it a quick outline. So you want to start out by running these lines parallel to each other. Bring your tag end over, so that that's coming over my side of the mono. And then it's coming back up over my side as well of the mono, just creating a loop. Once we've got that tag end popping up there, we just want to wrap that around, I reckon seven times is the, is the best, because basically what this knot's about is about having enough surface area. So I reckon seven gives you enough surface area that uh, it grips the mono, but it also um, just allows it to slide. So you just want to cinch that down on there, pulling each end different ways. And then tight in that. And now that we've got that there, we now have that coming off, that bit of backing coming off this piece of mono, and that will now be able to slide along there. Um, you do want to um, probably wet it before you slide it just in case it burns. I don't think it would or should. So you want to cut this tag end of the backing here fairly short as such. And then we're left with just a long piece here. I can say yeah, just over a couple of inches. We'll go about there. And so now we're just left with a little tag dangling off our mono. And this part here is when we're going to attach the glow bag yarn which eventually becomes the actual indicator. So basically it's up to you how much you want to use. Um, I'm not going to use very much on this. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to be fishing with particularly much weight when I use it. So I'm just going to fold that over like that, just to measure. I want it to be even like that, and cut that to the same length there. And that centre point where I folded it over, I want to take this piece of backing that's coming off, and I'm just going to tie a basic clinch knot around the centre of it. Reason for a clinch knot instead of any, it doesn't really matter what knot you use here really, but I just do a clinch knot, it's a basic knot, um, and it doesn't require too much line, it's a pretty small tag, 
and yeah, it's an easy knot to work with when you don't have too much line. So yeah, four or five times around there. And now we are left with this bit of go bag yarn coming off our, our off our mono. And to get it looking a little bit nicer, grab a comb and just brush that out. So it all kind of becomes one piece. Brush, brush, brush. That should be right. Now take your scissors, which hopefully are fairly sharp, and just cut to the size that you want. So that's good there. And so now, this is going to be the first piece of our leader. One end can attach to our floating line. The other end, I'd usually put a tippet ring on. I'm sure you can imagine that there, just a tippet ring or just anything there that will allow you, or you can do a surgeon's knot. I'd prefer to go with a tippet ring since it's a massive difference in diameter you'll be using. But yeah, so you've now got a very good floating indicator that will very easily slide it along there. It'll only slide when you want it to slide. And yeah, it won't slide on its own from the tension of the water or anything. And it's really good if you're fishing lots of water of different depths and you don't want to be retying your leader all the time because yeah, it's kind of annoying if you just want to make a change of say 50 centimeters to a meter and you've got to um, you yeah, start retying knots and everything it also means you can just a lot a lot more easily just you know try different depths when you're in a certain spot if something's not quite working bring it in slide it slightly further one way or the other and uh, it just gives you that chance to you know find that depth that you really want to be fishing at you don't want to be completely trolling the bottom or you don't want to be too far above it you can just sort of find that sweet spot with a bit of movement and without too much um, too much hassle so yeah um, hopefully this video has been useful to you um, it's uh, something that I've actually used quite a bit lately and has become really useful for me hopefully you're all able to get something out of it if you found any use in this uh, just hit the like button and subscribe and hopefully you're all catching plenty of fish out there on the water cheers